After soul searching, I concluded that humanity and generosity are above all things and, fearing nothing, I issued the visas, risking my career. Sugihara In 1939, Lithuania, a Jewish boy Soliganor met by chance Chuni Sugihara. Sugihara was a Japanese diplomat stationed in Lithuania. The young boy Soli invited Sugihara for a party to meet his parents and his entire family to celebrate together the miracle of Hanukkah, Jewish festival of lights. Surprisingly, Sugihara came to the party with his wife and children. During the party, a desperate Jewish man approached Sugihara. He begged for help to get visas for him and for his little daughter to be able to leave Lithuania. He cried, The Nazi army is rounding and killing the Jews in Poland. They killed my wife and my two boys. I escaped with my little daughter and I need your help for visas to get out of here before the Nazis invade Lithuania and kill us all. The following year, Sugihara did something extraordinary to save the lives of thousands of Jewish refugees. For this, Sugihara received the highest recognition of righteous among the nations. The story of Sugihara is told by Soli Ganor. Soli is now 91 years old. I'm here with Soli Ganor. Hi. How are you? Thank you. Years ago, you met the Japanese diplomat, Chuni Sugihara. What was the occasion? Well, I met him accidentally in my hand shop. He was buying chocolates for his children. And I came on Hanukkah to get some money for my aunt, what they call Hanukkah money. I saw him, I'd never seen a Japanese person, so I was staring at him. And my aunt said, don't say, come say hello to him. And he smiled at me and wanted to give me money for Hanukkah. So I said, do you not a relative, I cannot take money from you. And he said, well, for this Hanukkah, I'll be your Japanese uncle. And so if you're my uncle, you should come to our, I came out with this spontaneous invitation. You should come to our Hanukkah party on Saturday. And then they came. His wife and Without my, announcement, he knocked on the door and he came. No, the, my aunt brought him. Never met before Jewish people. So for him it was very interesting to me. You know what the stories are. There was all my whole family, aunts and uncles and cousins. And there was also a Polish family that ran away. The war already had started in Poland and a lot of Jewish people ran away, escaped and came to Lithuania, which was still independent. And a couple somebody called Rosenthal, and his daughter stayed with us in our house. And he was the first one who approached Sugihara if you can get a visa to Japan. And, and Sugihara was surprised. He, said, he found out that I am collecting stamps. So he invited me to come to the house and, Give me stamps and the consulate 
and we would learn not very far from them. So I used to go there every week to get stamps from them. And I met uh, Hiroki San. I was 12 years old. Hiroki Sugihara San described the event in children's book Passage to Freedom, the Sugihara Story. A young Jewish boy who did not have enough money to buy what he wanted, so my father gave him some of his. The boy thanked him and invited my father to his home. That is when my family and I went to Hanukkah celebration for the first time. I was five years old. <laughs> time did he start issuing the visa to all the refugees? Summer 1940. So how did he know to come to him to ask for visa? They were sure that the Germans would come to Lithuania too. So everybody was going to the consulate to get visas. But uh -huh. nobody gave visas. Sugihara's so residence this was also the Japanese consulate in Kaunas, Kovno, Lithuania. In July of 1940, thousands of Jewish refugees were desperately waiting outside of Sugihara's house, begging for transit visas to Japan to escape from the imminent Nazi invasion of Lithuania. Sugihara sent three telegrams to Japan asking for permission to issue visas. His requests were denied. Acting against the direct orders of his Japanese government, Sugihara issued the visas, risking his career and even risking his life. He described it, I acted according to my sense of human justice, out of love for mankind. Sugihara was ordered to close the consulate and leave Lithuania. He was running out of time. Together with his wife Yukiko, they worked around the clock to issue as many visas as possible in order to save as many lives as they could. And Sugihara kept on writing visas on the train until the train left the station. Fortunately, Japan honored the transit visas and the refugees were saved. Eventually, many of the refugees found a safe heaven in their historical Jewish homeland, Israel. Yoshua Nishri, an Israeli diplomat to Japan. In 1968, he located and met with Sugihara. Nishri's life was saved by Sugihara's transit visa almost 30 years before. Immediately after, Sugihara and his family were invited to Israel. In Jerusalem, Sugihara met Zerach Worftig, a minister in the Israeli government. Zerach was one of the people Sugihara saved. He saved 6,000 people, right? Yeah. Today I received the email from a survivor and he said, we are now 80,000. 80,000 survivors out 80, of these 6,000 people. 80, That's incredible. And some are comparing Sugihara to Schindler or to Raoul because of his saving of people, human life, right? Well, Schindler actually was doing it in the beginning, he was a Nazi. Right. And in fact, he had to make money. Right. But Sugihara didn't make money. Right. So that was the difference. Soli, you were a very young boy when you met the diplomat Sugihara at your aunt's bakery shop. Do you think your interaction had any impact on his decision to issue the visas? In the book, Visas for Life, Mrs. Sugihara says... And let's open the page. Sugihara's decision to issue visas may have been influenced by a 14-year-old Jewish boy named Soli Ganor. He invited Mr. Sugihara to celebrate the first night of Hanukkah in 1939 with his family. 
This may have been Sugihara's first contact with a Jewish family in Kaunas. You went to Japan to meet his wife, I understand, and his children? Yeah, she invited. They built a park called Park of Humanities. In Japan? For the name of Sugihara. And Sugihara received the big honor of Righteous Among the Nations. <laughs>